Said what? Like trying to like like trying to protect somebody's feelings. Like cuz a lot of times I want to be direct. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I'm but people believer. can't people can't handle that. You know what I'm saying? Oh, you talk to be crazy or sometimes you sound fuck crazy. It. No, man, I'm telling you what the fuck we have to at some point, on? bro, we got to establish a baseline of reality, man. We got to. I take it this shit personal. If the job was if the job was done, I wouldn't be back. It can't be. A, I, I'm on some shit. I don't give a fuck who you is. I'm gonna be direct. I'm gonna be honest. I'm gonna be practical. I gotta be these things first. Like the baseline of reality that I have with anybody in my interpersonal relationships gotta be based on that. It has to be. Otherwise, fucking, bro, you are gonna suffer in an illusion. Yeah. A lot of people are lost in the loop. It's a fucking shame. Shit is what it is. I don't know. I don't go too. I don't get too deep into into that. Once once we out of the realm of this shit being practical. I'm going to place it in what I consider to be like compartmentalized experiential living. Like, I got to be, I'm alive. So even if I could think myself somewhere else and be somewhere else and all this sort of shit, I still got to deal with my physical reality being present right here. Now, if I'm present and within the context of what's going on right now, I don't have an interpersonal relationship that's being practical, then I resort that to like this now. It's, this is the TV of life. This is the shit that's on autoplay, on autopilot. Motherfuckers is gonna do whatever and whatever. I I could be very low. Like we're we're in the entropy of the shit. So this shit going to what's going on right now because we can't establish a real baseline of reality that's practical. Now we're dealing in a timeline of chaos. So the time eventually whatever's going on right now. If you can't we can't get practical then whatever's going on right now. This shit gonna end up just disintegrating into chaos at some point in time usually within the next 10 minutes of the conversation especially if y'all are passionate people or y'all talking about something that's high energy or high passion or very polarized in it, in people's opinion of it or whatever on their views and shit nigga that shit gonna diverge into chaos within like 10 minutes bro because y'all ain't, y'all wasn't practical to get on the same page about some shit so that it's like yo you know what no matter how much we disagree about the variables and the nuance of this conversation. We're on the same page overall in this conversation based on where we're trying to go. That's the whole reason we're able to have the conversation. And that's what makes this conversation the best way to spend the current time. Otherwise, I could talk to somebody else that I could be fucking more practical with. Which leads to a more progressive life. That's what that shit is. That shit, if, if that makes any sense, is yo. You know what's crazy? We should. This should be a class. The shit we talking about right now should be something that people learn in elementary school. Like white people send their kids to etiquette schools and shit. Like should. we should. Like niggas, niggas should create like an after school program or like etiquette, like an etiquette program after school, so kids know how to like. Even the shit we was just talking about yesterday, like like cleaning up after yourself and shit. You know what I'm saying? Like Dude. real fucking shit, bro. It should be so normalized. That it is the baseline of reality. You know what I'm saying? As opposed yeah. to a motherfucker being like, yo, man, I know how you living. Yeah. And vice versa. You know what I'm saying? Like, like, nah, sometimes, like, like sometimes people say like shit like that. And I'd be like, yo, like, you don't the, want better for yourself? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, no. You can do this shit too. Like, I, I'm me. I'm, I'm a regular fucking person. You know what I'm saying? Like, I do regular shit. I do shit that anybody could do. It's possible, Basically. but I ain't it's, it's that such a it's do. apparent it's such a high standard or this or that like it's not even high. People just like, got such. A, about? It's just we have normalized such low standards, bro. Yeah, low standards like niggas is still just happy to be free from from the perceived slavery that, that like that shit like and I get it. You know what I'm saying? We talking about only two hundred years ago, less than that type shit. But man. Dog, at some point, yo, you got to take charge of your own soul and accountability and shit and just be like, yo, man, I'm here. Look around. 
two this the, this the landscape. Assess it. This is the world as you have it. Now make it better. And do that until you die. And just know, like, all right, well, as long as I did that, then I was all right. Nigga, what better thing is there to do? Sitting it's around, real, complaining and shit, eyes, judging other people, all sorts of shit. That shit's lame, bro. You, you know what the fuck is going on, too. You you know what's going on. You know mm-hmm. the cards are stacked against you. You know they not playing fair. You yeah. know all of this shit. Nigga, use that shit to your advantage, nigga. You know what time it is? <laughs> you, know, you, you know what's going on in but life. But see, that's the thing. Niggas don't have strategy to use it to their advantage. They don't know. They don't know how to. They don't know how to spin situation and scenarios to their advantage. Most people, dog, they got a real strong drive. Most people, dog, they depressed or sad or angry because they got a lot of passions. They just ain't got no fucking direction or they don't know what to do about nothing, about the energy that they feel even flowing through them. Like, motherfucker, wake up. And you ain't got no purpose, bro. It's gonna be a. It, it's potentially it's a coin toss on if this is gonna be a rough day. Yeah. Cause you're gonna be led through the day reacting to every situation, every scenario. If you're not going to sleep knowing exactly what you're gonna do tomorrow, to at least a, like for me, a seventy five percent planned of the day, so that the other twenty five percent I could you know what I'm saying I could fluctuate I could, I could be flexible pause whatever and and, and be adaptable. Then, nigga, you setting yourself up to have a shitty tomorrow anyway. That's why I always ask people, yo, what you got going on tomorrow? As soon as they say, I don't know, like, nigga, that's the first red flag for me. That like, yo, I don't need to press Lincoln with you tomorrow. Because we will be stuck in a reactionary space of life. You're not even planning, so the universe can't fuck with you. The universe can only give you serendipity if you in the right frequency. And the chance that you in that right frequency is going to be low. Whereas if you like, yo, I'm planning, I know that this is what I want to do tomorrow. And then you go to sleep, nigga, you got all eight hours while you sleep for the universe to move, God to move, move pieces for you, make shit happen. You been on, woke up, went to the went to Dunkin' Donuts to get a coffee, and you want to shoot a video, you know what I'm saying? Like, you like, yo, man, we need to holler at some videographers. And you been on, bumped into the nigga at Dunkin' Donuts that sh- he watching a video on his phone, and he, he shoot videos or some shit like that. Now, if you wasn't planning that on your day, you would have went to Dunkin'. You might not even got up and went to Dunkin' Donuts. You might not even been driven to wake up and go do shit. You might have woke up and been groggy and rolled back over. You know what I'm saying? But if you was like, yo, I know I got to get out into the world. I got to do certain shit. Nigga, the world going to meet you. The world going to meet you how you meet yourself. So if you ain't got no plans for yourself, no drive for yourself, no direction for yourself, what the fuck you think the world going to do except spin you in a circle? All that shit could do is just spin you in place, nigga. You can't do shit. Shit gonna spin you in place. You don't even. You ain't giving it no intention to work with. And yeah. you and you expressing what you dislike about some shit or distaste for your your distaste for the world ain't giving. That's not the same as giving God intention for what you wish the world to be. You know what I'm saying? That's just you complaining the way the world is and the world is the way it was before you fucking got any kind of idea about it. We need, we do need, yo, it's crazy. When I used to mentor a little uh, a nigga in D.C. And um, he's a grown man now, but this is over like 10 years ago. He reached out to me the other day. Let me know that, you know what I'm saying? He was doing well and all that shit. I think that that shit was so fucking amazing, man. That's only like official. I was It was a mentor program, you know what I'm saying? But that shit is amazing, man. We need to we need to build mentoring programs and shit like on our own. We don't need to leave that shit for the white man to do it for us to be a part of it. Nigga, what nigga, you got a kid? You got somebody you know that's amazing? The kid damn near already look up to him a little bit, man. Ask a mentor to sit and talk with this nigga, man. Talk with the niggas, man. That's why I, I talk to people, yo. You never know what a conversation would do for somebody. You know what I'm saying? You just never know that shit. Hey yo, they got Smoothie King where y'all at? Love a good smoothie king, man. But word. Look, like this shit got only two two <laughs> it only got like two viewers, right? So I'm gonna I'm gonna download it and I'm gonna load it up to YouTube. That's what I'm gonna do. So it's gonna end up happening, bro. And then the shit paused due to my battery. That's God like don't say that. Never mind. I was about to tell y'all a plan for some whole other shit. But it's cool. I'm cool with just two followers. That's fine. Welcome, y'all. I appreciate y'all sitting and, and burning this. I don't know if y'all burning blunts, but I appreciate y'all tapping in, you know what I'm saying, with my thoughtfulness. If you relate to anything I said, you know what I'm saying, we related in that way. Y'all go follow the field goat, Mike Vaz. 
got his apparel on. Feel goat shit. You know what I'm saying? I told niggas, I was like, yeah, I'm gonna show off your shit. Mm-hmm. We definitely need mentors, though. Be the change you want to see. Be all you can be. Don't that sound like some dumb shit? Don't make me, don't make me a quote. <laughs> Spill my name. Huh? <laughs> That's Jeezy. Nah, I know. Oh. I said, I'm gonna make me one. I'm gonna mm. come up with one. You know what I'm saying? I do that shit all the time. <laughs> I quote myself on Twitter. At this point, I feel like I, I have stopped typing gypsy behind all this. I used to quote him to hashtag myself. Like self quote myself, and I'm like, I don't have to self, I don't have to, I don't have to identify it's myself me. as myself. It's me everybody saying saw it. me saying it. Yeah, like, <laughs> the Twitter timeline sees me saying it. You know what I'm saying? So it's like I don't have to motherfucking put my name behind it. Like, hey, yo, this shit was said by me. But then, but then again, see, why, 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 why did I do that in the beginning? <laughs> Be why? Because we live in a world where everything is yeah. so regurgitated and stolen. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's it's very few original thoughts. Yo, I might have, and I feel like I'm a super smart ass nigga, right? I feel like I might have, in a day, maybe, maybe four original thoughts. Four. Four. That's just four. In a whole day. Do you know how many thoughts you think in a day? 82,000. That's the number. It was around there. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? But gauge it. Test it. 82, out of 82,000, nigga, I might have four original thoughts. That's because 90% of your thoughts from today is thoughts from yesterday. And you can keep going back and you can see how you live and relive the same thoughtfulness. You relive the same shit. You turn it today into yesterday like a motherfucker. With just your thoughts alone. And that's everybody's 90%. So it's like the other 10%, man, that shit got to be dynamic. Of that other 10%, a lot of that shit be dumb shit. That's why I said I only have four. Because <laughs> what's 10% of 82? Some shit like, I don't know, like 900 or some shit? 10% of 82? I mean, 10% of 82,000. Oh, 82,000. Like nine hundred, some eight fifty, or some shit like that. Either way, out of like nine hundred thoughts, nigga, only four of them be original. When I have an original one, I usually tweet it. You know what I'm saying? So my Twitter timeline keep track of that shit. I can't wait to rap again. I'm just gonna go through my timeline and pick out all the real shit I was fucking saying, and then make words rhyme around it. Free game, strategy, eighty two hundred. Highlights. Eight. Ah, get that shit out of here. Eighty two hundred, not eighty two thousand. I think that was me, Shaq, correcting me. Excuse me. 8200? Yeah. I think that's I think that that's what he's saying right there. He could be correcting me. It's not 82,000. It's 8200. Even still, out of 8200, to know I only have four original ones, and I feel like I'm a motherfucking close to genius, man. I understand how much of what I'm dealing with is Clone Wars. You know what I'm saying? It's the world we live in and shit. Damn. I ain't see that last night. I must have been asleep. <laughs> I ain't seen the nigga fall just now. I must have been sleeping that but Y'all watched the games last night? Okay, so all right, all right. Oh, no, nah, see, Shaq do with that math. No, 10% of 82,000 is... 8,200. <coughs> 8, man, I'm high, bro. You know, I'm, you know, you know, you know. I'm a wordsmith, man. You know, that math should get confusing. That's why I hired somebody to count for me. Oh my god. Like you'll count this for me. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, so out of eighty two hundred thoughts, I think only four of the bitches be original if I'm lucky today. Some days I don't have an original thought at all. That's where the shirts that I got that say you have no idea come from. People think that that's like it's so that shit is so oh man that's such an amazing shirt I love it it's so layered you have no idea 
You have no idea what nobody else went through, been through, gone through, thinking about, feeling. You have no idea. Like when you have on when you have no idea, you turn into the guy on the shirt. <laughs> when you have no ideas, you turn into the man on the shirt. Damn, LeBron shit blinging. I gotta give me some fucking ice. <laughs> <laughs> Chucky. Yeah. Oh, right. you think Yo, order your gypsy box today. 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 Hey, listen, man. Gypsy boxes are $150. Uh, if I meet you and you're like, yeah, I want to fuck with this nigga. I like that nigga energy. That's cool. We can be cool, all that shit, but... But people that be like, man, I really want to like, you know what I'm saying? Like, fuck with you and do this, that, or third, or, you know what I mean? Girls, it's like, whatever, whatever. Yo, like, listen, man, I'm going to keep it a buck, yo. If you, if you can't afford $150, I do not require knowing you currently. The marathon that I am in and the race that I am running currently does not me does not require us to have more than a... Uh, casually pleasant relationship in the sense of saying like I will give you basic human respect and acknowledge your presence and vice versa but you're not gonna get many words out of me I don't have much conversation for you because I'm all I talk about is my brand I'm gonna get excited I feel like if you in the same groove or frequency as me then you know what that is and you gonna fuck with that and fuck with me but if you as a person Who's campaigning for my time or my attention in any way, shape, or form at all? But you have not supported the dreams that I am trying to pursue in one way or another. Trust me, I'm not one of them bitter niggas. I'm not gonna campaign for support. I don't I don't I'm not gonna beg nobody to support me. That is completely fine, but I will not waste my time. I won't waste my time. So you do what you want with that information. Shop Gypsy. And I don't really want to deal with nobody that don't feel like that. Have something that you feel like that about. Strongly. I fuck with you, nigga. I want to fuck with you, man. Listen, man. I'm a, I'm a, I'm a pay the price that it costs to be in your game room if I'm trying to be in your game room. Now, if you're just a fan of me, that's fine. You could be a fan. You could hit the like button, support, and never buy nothing. I love you, too. I love you to death. But will you get a free therapy session out of me? No. If you don't own any gypsy clothes, there's no free therapy for you. Like, who the fuck you think he is? Nigga, I don't need a second therapy. Cool, cool, cool. You don't. Nobody does. <laughs> yeah. 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 In the words of my more, in the more the words of my teacher, sock it to my pocket. <laughs> Show me, cause you know what I do, nigga. And I, yo, listen, man, I ain't unemployed. I just work in mysterious ways. Now, I spend with everybody. That's why I got good relationships with everybody. What's your dream? I'm gonna support it, especially if you got a, you got a material dream, like you sell something. Nigga, they ain't finna stop. Money's money. That shit is unlimited. I'm gonna I'm spend with you. Because that's gonna make you feel good. Because that's what you're trying to do. Is get people to, you know what I'm saying? Spend money with you. I'm one of the easiest motherfuckers. I'm one of the easiest players you're gonna meet. As long as what you got going on is positive. You got something positive going on, man, find me. I spend with you even if it's not practical for me in the moment to do so because I understand what it is to fuel a motherfucker dream and I know what a play does when you get that shit at just the right time. God work through people. You ain't trying to walk up on me and sell me some shit for no reason. You know what I'm saying? Or you ain't trying to... I ain't see the shit in my timeline for no reason. I ain't think the shit was dope for no reason. Especially if I think the shit dope. I'm going to shop with you. If I can't afford to, I'm a budget, and then I'm a shop with you later. I got my man, yo, he got a brand called Need For More. Nothing this nigga produces is under $400, $500. Nothing. Nothing. This nigga 
All this nigga garment. I mean, no, wait, no, nah, that's not true. You might could get a tee or, or like a sweatshirt or some shit, but like the fire, fire shit. My nigga got some fire, and that shit is worth it. That nigga put his time, blood, sweat, tears, and all that shit into that shit, producing that shit by handcrafted, all of that. That nigga want four hundred for a pair of pants. He ain't, that's it. He want four hundred, nigga, and shit ain't budget. You need four hundred at least. He out in Atlanta though where niggas really blowing that paper like that. Like niggas really got them bags, you know what I'm saying? But shit, nigga. I can't wait to wear my pants. I just need to get me some fresh butters. Ooh, that outfit gonna be fire. <laughs> wait till y'all see me this fall. Yeah. Look like shit. Mm-hmm. Yeah, Atlanta. This was a weird filter to throw on for a live. Hmm. I feel like it's mad people seeing my live button at the top of their screen with the little circle and they like, I'm gonna watch that shit later. I ain't gonna tap in because he might start talking to me. But when you famous and when I'm famous or whatever, they gonna tap in and wanna be talked to. But by then, it's going to be so many names rolling on the screen. You know what I'm saying? I could be high just talking shit. <laughs> nigga, you ain't going to never be famous. Nigga, you got 30 followers, nigga. They're going to be like, yo. Yo, then it'll be mad shit. I wouldn't be able to address everybody. That's that That's that example of like, yo, people don't fuck with you. The more people fuck with you. And the more people fuck with you, the less time you got to fuck with everybody. So it's like you come in the game, it's like Monopoly. You get on the board, you start buying a piece you land on. Fuck it, it's the beginning of the game. Everybody got money, nobody fucked up yet. Your rent ain't finna be too high on nothing. What happens is that can either go one or two ways. It rolls your way, in which you own a lot of property early, so you have good spaces, you have good a uh, good advantage and leverage point to like operate your interpersonal relationships with everybody else on the board in a way that, you know what I'm saying, can, is conducive to your success. Or... You burn up everything early, and then somebody else around you gets something that's concentrated, but they get the whole thing that's concentrated fast. And then you be fucked up when you hit their ass one time because you spread so thin that you can't withstand the motherfucking the hit that you just took financially. Yo, I'm talking about Monopoly, but I'm talking about life, yo. You can apply this shit to what I was just saying about the clothes. If I'm like, yeah, I want to support black brands, and I'm popular, so people, I say I want to support black brands, nigga, I might get 10 inboxes. And I'm like, okay, I want to go buy, boom, boom, I'm shop with you, shop with you, shop with you, shop with you, shop with you. Then my man hit me the next day and be like, yo, man, I just dropped this shit, yo, but it's 400. And I'll be like, damn, I just spent 400 between 10 brands, I can't even afford it. You get what I'm saying? Like, that's when you you lost that Monopoly game. Like, it's, that's, damn. I don't, I be try, I'm trying to find a better word than gang because I've I gotten accustomed, you know what I'm saying, from a different lifestyle. I'll be like, it's just my game room and shit, but, you know what I mean? Because people think when that the word game insinuates that you're playing. When I say that life is a game and you play the game of life so that you may get better at all games or you play any game so that you may get better at the game of life in its entirety, like, nigga, I ain't talking about playing. I ain't talking about playing. Like, nigga, ain't nobody playing. Yeah, it's a game, but ain't nobody playing. This shit is for real. Walk up to LeBron and ask him if he playing. Hey, man, you playing? You was just playing, right? Nigga, I was trying to fucking win. Let's win. This shit more like a football team than a basketball team. Nigga, we got way more motherfuckers on the team. Let's win. Jump on it. Nah, you wanna listen to it? I think I'm high enough for it. I got some I got some G Spot Sweet Spot gummies right here. Visit the website www.gypsyclothes.net. Anything you don't see? Yo, email the website, guys. Is there some... Relax, relax. Just go to the website. What's there is what you get. Right!